Okay, um, I'm basically going to show you guys today um, how to make flashes in Sony Vegas. There are many ways to actually do this. I'm going to show you a few ways that you can, but the ways that I normally use it in my videos. Alright, so basically I have something laid out here already, just a clip and whatnot. And what we're going to do is we're going to add flashes here and here, obviously because that's the beat. So what you're going to do is basically you find it, you can zoom in by using your mouse wheel or hitting the up and down arrow keys. And then you just basically find the beat, which right here would be where the beat is if it wants to work with me. That little thing right there is the beat. So basically you're gonna click in the center and you can hit S on the keyboard and that will split the clip. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to hit U so it unlocks both of the audio and video from each other. And then I hit S and it'll split just the video. So then you're going to go to your transitions you're going to see flash here. Um, there's going to be some pre-mades, obviously, hard flash, soft flash, yellow, and then the rest are kind of mine that I've created. So let's just use a soft flash. So you're just going to drag this here and drop it. I moved this out of the way because I don't really need it. And then you obviously just make it however scale you want. Normally flashes are anywhere between 4 to 10 no more no less I'm gonna use six for this one try to keep it even on each side then you're gonna go back to this one and you're gonna do the same exact thing and then put another flash here and then resize it so it fits to be a six again so this side is shorter so I'm gonna pull it so it's six and six Okay, then you get flashes that way. So that's how I do a flash, the simple, basic way. I've just taken the liberty to completely clear out this, so now I don't have any flashes at all. Here's another way a lot of people do it. You can add a, by right clicking over here in this box, brings up the menu, insert video track. Normally I like to drag this underneath so that it's underneath all the video and you don't get any kind of interference. And then you go to media generators and you go to solid color. People do this for colored flashes as well. I don't use this way in particular, but a lot of people do. This is the way a lot of people do this in um, Windows Movie Maker as well. So let's just for fun, let's do um, a blue flash. So I'll drag the blue one down completely onto the bottom. Yeah, you're gonna see the boxes like that. Um, you can fix that later and I'll show you how to basically uh, change the windows. And usually you will drag this completely across. So, and then you have your area right here. Obviously you can see the beats here and here. And then for this one, all you do is you already have your clip unlocked from each other. All you do is you find the middle, hit S, split the clip, and then drag the corner, maybe about two each, so it fades. One to two works. A lot of people use just one on one side or um, they'll put one on each side instead, or they can do it this way, so it just fades one part and does that. But in particular, I like to do three, so it's two on one side and then one on the other. And then you can do that again. And then that'll make blue flashes. And then basically to get rid of those black borders, you can always go over here and you'll find your pan crop event at the end of the clip or you can right click and go to video event pan crop. Then over here you will see just the drop down scale thing. Um, 
You can make your own customized ones by resizing and then saving it with the save preset. But I think mine is set at 16 point or 16 to 9 ratio, so we'll go there and then obviously that takes away the blue border. And now if I go back to the actual flashes that I have set, you should just be able to see that. So that's your blue flash. That's the second way a lot of people do flashes. And for a third way to make flashes, obviously you have this all set up, unlocked clips, and then, okay, here's the center. This one's going to be done basically the same way as the original just flash transition. So you're going to split the clip, and instead of going into the flash panel where I am right now, you're going to go to dissolve. I actually just started recently using this one in some of my newer videos. Um, it's not exactly a flash. I call it basically an inner flash because it just lightens the picture and it looks like a flash, but it's not a flash. So what you can do is you can take additive dissolve and then you drag it, obviously. Um, if you hold control, it actually will put the clip on one side or just the flash itself on one side. This works really well when you have multiple flashes to do in a short amount of time because normally when you try to do it this way like and then you put another one here it'll end up just kind of giving you problems like this and it won't actually be a flash so I'm gonna back out of that so basically yeah if you hold control while you're placing it or um, I believe it's command on a Mac it'll put it right next to it and then you can just drag it over and this is completely out of time, but this is just for an example. It just does it really fast. And then, obviously, so we're doing this in time. You're going to go over here. You're going to put another one down. And see, that obviously brightens up the screen a bit right there in the preview up at the top. And then I'm just going to make this one six. Well, I'll just make it four because, I, yeah, I have the other one at four. And how you tell if it's four or whatnot, you'll see right here there's the little box that shows it. And it says 0 0.04. And that's just basically the length I go by that. Or if it's one, it's a really long fade. And if it's just ten, it's decent. But for flashes, you want it to be quick. And this is the dissolve flash, which works really nicely if you have a double beat. So you can do an under, t like an inner flash and then an over flash, and this is what it looks like. So basically, that's just the majority of ways that I know how to do a flash. I'm sure there are plenty of other people that have made up their own style. I hope you guys enjoy and keep on subscribing. Um, I have many videos coming out, especially this one. This is one of my new ones that I'm working on, and this is just a preview so I can show you guys how to do things. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching.